What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set the shocker hitch airbag um, appropriately when you're loading your trailer. So right now the airbag is basically deflated all the way. This is the first time I'm doing this by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the coupler onto the ball and fill up the airbag. And I have a, you can't see in the camera, but there's a compressor right here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up that airbag and then see how this process goes. All right, gonna go ahead and lower the trailer down to the ball and we'll see how it takes the weight. And I don't know why, but part of me is a little nervous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and undo this air cap. I don't know, just, just in case it needs to release pressure or something. Let's go ahead and lower this ball down just a bit. Oh yeah, what a perfect back end. So now, the hitch is starting to take the weight and the trailer jack is no longer holding the weight. So the weight is now on the ball of the trailer and let's see the top aerial view of it all. Okay, so that's connected there. And the top here, there's a little bit of a gap between the bushing and the hitch wall. So what I'm gonna do now is close that gap by inflating the hitch, the airbag. All right, so stand by. Gonna go ahead and screw in the valve. Okay, so currently right now the PSI, it's really nothing in that airbag. So let's just take it to five PSI. Cool, okay. So now as you can see, that gap where the green bushing is and the black hitch backing is now closed. And so I believe that's how you set the hitch, according to the instructions. The PSI is currently at four. Now I also wanna do this with it more level on the street. My driveway is somewhat unlevel and I can kind of see the angle of the hitch is a little bit up and I kind of want it to be more perpendicular than like that. But for now, I have air in the airbag, I have the hitch on, the bushing is touching the hitch and that's what the instructions say. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. PSI is reading at four. Gonna go ahead and cap it. Also guys, if you're wondering what all this mess is, that's marine grease. I put that everywhere because I didn't want the components to rust out or to deform. So while it doesn't look the best, it's protected to some degree and the salt water won't corrode it. All right, so that is how you set your shocker hitch air bag system. Just to recap, load the trailer first and then pump up the airbag until this green bushing here, until that green bushing there slides forward and it's all nice and snug in between. Okie doke. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you later.